Okay, hi, Bronco hier mit dem Thema Nintendo Switch Spiele auf dem Steam Deck emulieren. Also ich habe ja hier mein Steam Deck und das Coole ist, auf dem Steam Deck kann man Nintendo Switch Spiele emulieren bzw. spielen. Ähm, ich würde euch empfehlen, nutzt oder erstellt am besten bloß ja, von euren eigenen Spielen Sicherheitskopien. Ähm, ja, damit fällt man einfach am sichersten. Ja, und ich würde es keinen empfehlen, irgendwie was anderes zu machen. Aber ähm, ich habe ein ganz cooles Video gefunden und zwar zeige ich euch das mal. Ähm, hier sieht man jetzt, was man machen muss, um auf dem Steam Deck Nintendo Switch Spiele zu spielen. Ich werde äh, das Video ja in der Videobeschreibung verlinken und lasst uns das Video mal angucken. Das Video ist ziemlich gut, das hat auch über 150.000 Aufrufe und deswegen musste ich mir das einfach mal angucken. Nintendo Switch Emulator Setup Guide. I hope this will be the only guide that you need to play Switch games on your Steam Deck. This is an in-depth video, so I have broken it into different chapters as shown on the screen. Cool. Das, das, Ding, das Ding ist so, mh, er zeigt hier auch, ne, so mit Zelda und sowas alles. Und das Coole ist, also das, man muss halt wirklich sagen, das läuft wirklich gut auf dem Steam Deck. Also man kann eigentlich alles so spielen, so Pokémon, Mario und sowas alles. Und ja. Easily jump into the content that you are interested in. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Now let's get started with Nintendo Switch Emulation. The Emu Deck installation is pretty easy. I will quickly explain the installation process here. I will only cover Emu Deck mm. Nintendo Switch emulation in this video. First, we need to switch to desktop mode on Steam Deck. From desktop mode, use your Firefox. Oh. Also, er erklärt das halt auch, ne? Was man zuerst machen muss, halt in desktop modus. Browser. Und, Und dann halt Deck Firefox website. anmachen. I have the Emu Deck linked in my video description. From this website, We can directly download the Emu Deck installation file. Once it is downloaded, we can click Show in Folder. We need to copy the Emu Deck installation file onto our desktop in order to process this installation. And this is mandatory. Then we can double click on the Emu Deck installer from the desktop. Click Continue on this pop up window to confirm this installation. Select custom ich muss dazu sagen, so Emu Deck habe ich auch auf meinem ähm, Steam Deck. Also es gibt auch ganz viele andere Emulatoren, die man benutzen kann. So Playstation und, ich weiß nicht, Playstation Portable, Playstation 2 und sowas alles. Also Und das läuft echt gut, muss man sagen. So. Ja, und wie gesagt, ähm, ich packe einen Link von dem Video hier in die Videobeschreibung. Which will give us more option to set up the Emu Deck. Then click Continue. I highly recommend to use SD card for your emulation games. Even ja, even das, das habe ich auch schon gezeigt. Ähm, in meinem Steam Deck, da habe ich auch eine SD-Karte drin. Und ich, also, ohne Mist, ich kann euch eine SD-Karte bloß empfehlen, weil ich habe eine 500er drin, und, also 500 Gigabyte. Und ohne die, ohne eine Speicherkarte, also eine kleine SD-Karte, ah, wäre wär, wär mal aufgeschmissen so. Mm. Works perfect with Emu decks. So we will pick SD card as storage here. On this page, obviously, we need to select Steam Deck. On this screen, it shows all emulators that are currently supported by Emu Deck. I will disable all the emulators except for the Yuzu, since I will only cover VU emulation in this video. But you can always come back to this page and install any emulators that you like later on. I will leave everything on for this page since Emu Deck has already done all the configurations so we can take advantage of this. <laughs> I don't want to be a member of a retro achievement, so just click skip here. On the next couple pages, you can pick any options you like. It's all about your personal tastes for the emulation game. I would like to set up my 3D games as 16 by 9 screen ratio and keep the 2D games as 4 by 3. You can pick any emulation station same here. I personally like the RB simple style. Then we can click finish. The Emu Deck now start processing all the installation. It will take about two minutes to complete everything here. After everything's done, we can click exit. Now we have complete the Emu Deck installation on the Steam Deck. 
the original Emil Deck Installer is now changed to Emil Deck ja. Access Icon. Ja, das mit diesen ähm, Emil Deck Dings, das habe ich auch wie gesagt. Und also ich kann das jedem nur empfehlen. Das läuft unglaublich gut. Wahrscheinlich ist das auch mit so einer der Gründe, warum man sich eigentlich ein Steam Deck holt. So. Also ich glaube, viele hatten das im Hinterkopf, dass man damit halt Sachen emulieren kann und wie gesagt, nur am besten eigene Sicherheitskopien verwenden. Damit fällt man halt am besten so. Now it's time to set up the key files and controller for the Yuzu emulator. Just remember, this is very important step to do. So that's why I put this section in chapter 2. I have my switch games and key files are stored on this external SSD. Just a friendly reminder that the Steam Deck SD card cannot be read by Windows PC or Mac. So the easiest solution is to download everything you need from your Windows PC or Mac, then transfer onto Steam Deck SD card, just like what I did here. First, let's click the file manager, then go to the external hard drive. I will copy the key files from here, then paste it into the Steam Deck SD card. I am not going to show you how to download the key file here, but it is pretty easy to search over internet. I suggest to use latest key file version, that is 15.0.1 at this moment. So copy this key file from here and paste it into Steam Deck SD card at the location indicated on the screen. <laughs> Once the key file is pasted into the correct location on your SD card, then we can close the file manager. The next task we need to do is to set up the Steam Deck controller inside the Yuzu emulator. Let's go to the start menu and type Yuzu in the search bar. We will see Yuzu Emil Deck show up. Just ja, double click doch, und, mal, und so sieht das aus. Das, der, der, das Ding ist ja so, dieser Yuzu Emulator, der sieht ja schon aus wie so ein Nintendo Switch. Also mit diesen blauen äh, Joy-Con und diesen roten Joy-Con so. And click Configure. Inside Configure, click Controls on the left side menu. Under the player tab, make sure you select the controller as oh, per controller. Vor allem, da kann man dann noch Controller und sowas einstellen. Set as Steam Virtual Gamepad. Make sure those are set correctly, otherwise the Steam Deck controller will not function properly. Kann man sogar noch zu zweit spielen und sowas alles. <lacht> That's all for the key and controller setup. <lacht> In this section, I will use Super Mario 8 Deluxe as an example to show how to install XCI or an SP format Switch games. Also, I will show how to fix the screen stuck issue with Mario Kart 8. Here is my external hard drive again, and I will just copy the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe XCI format game from here, and then paste it into the Steam Deck SD card. Make sure the game is pasted into the correct location into the Steam Deck SD card. Please see the SD card location on the screen. Please make sure the game files are copied into this location on your SD card. Once the copying process is finished, we can close the file manager. The last step we need to do is to bring the Switch game that we just installed into the Steam OS interface. So every time we boot up the Steam Deck, our video game will show up in our Steam OS library. To do this, we need to click the Emil Deck icon on the desktop and then click to and stuff. From here, we need to select Steam Room Manager. <laughs> click yes for this pop-up window. Yeah. Guck. First, disable the parsers, otherwise the Emu Deck will scan all the game rooms. I recommend only enable the emulators that you are going to use and disable the rest of them. No. Since we only deal with Switch games in this video, so I will just scroll down and enable Switch game. Then we need to click on the preview button from the top left corner. Then click Generate App List from the bottom of the screen. We can now see the Mario Kart 8 game is Siehste, showing up. Guck mal, er hat schon Mario Kart 8 äh, drauf. 
this will create the game title on mm. our Steam OS interface. Also er nimmt das ja als Beispiel. Now ne? also, we can also close so. Emu Deck and return to the Steam Deck gaming mode. After we get into the Steam Deck gaming mode, just go to the library. We will see there are two new tabs show up. One is called Collection. Under this tab, it will classify emulation games by the <coughs> emulation system. The other tab is called No Steam Game. Under this tab, you will see all the emulation games that have been installed on the Steam Deck. Now we can start Mario Kart 8 from here. The best Siehst feature du, of the Emu Deck, ja. in my opinion, is that it allows us to access all the emulation games from Steam OS Na, interface komm. directly. Mario Kart 8 hier, This is just Deluxe. so convenient. That's all you need to do for adding no. the games into the Steam Deck. Mm -hmm. So if your Mario Kart 8 is stuck at this screen, next I will show you how to fix this issue here. Let's close the game first. Then switch back to the desktop mode. I will go to my external hard drive and copy required files from there and then paste into my Steam Deck. Okay, er sagt gerade, es könnte auch sein, dass wenn man Mario Kart 8 startet, ähm, dass man so einen Screen Bug da bekommt und jetzt zeigt er halt nochmal oder erklärt er nochmal, also wie man das ganze fixen kann so. But I have already uploaded those files for you guys to download. Please check the video description for download link. Once you have those files downloaded and copied those two folders into your Steam Deck SD card location as shown on my screen. Just make sure you paste two folders that you just downloaded at this location on your SD card. And we will overwrite the current file with the new files. Now we can close the file manager and back to the Steam Deck gaming mode and test out the game. Now we can pass this page and start enjoying Mario Kart 8 on your Steam Deck. Guck, richtig geil. That's all for how to install <laughs> XCI or an SP format Switch games mm. onto the Steam Deck. Ja, und das spielt sich mega mit diesen Control-Sticks vom Steam Deck. Besser geht nicht. If you have already done this before, you can skip to step 2. Press the Steam button and go to Power. Then select Switch to Desktop Mode. We are now at Desktop Mode of Steam Deck. Click the Start Menu. Under System, click Console. After the console is open, type P-A-S-S-W-D. Then hit the Enter button on your keyboard. <coughs> Now you are required to set up a password. Make sure you remember this password. It will not show anything even when you are typing your password here. Just please remember it for the future use. Just hit the Enter button on your keyboard after you type in your password. Retype your password again and then hit the enter button. It should see password update successfully. Now we can close this window. Step to enable the gyro controls for emulators. First, we need to open Emule Deck on your desktop, and then open Tools and Stuff. Select Gyro DSU. Enter your sudo password, and click Install Gyro DSU. The Steam Deck Gyro DSU is now installed on your Steam Deck. We can now reboot our Steam Deck to have the gyro control working properly. That's all for this freaking long detailed video. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I will make more emulator videos like this one. Ja. If you have any questions, please Guck, leave und dann kannst du eigentlich alle spielen, was du brauchst so. Also, also was du zu Hause hast, ne? Is helpful, please don't forget hit the like button ja. and subscribe. Wie gesagt, ich verlinke einen Link in die Videobeschreibung und ähm, ja, also es macht halt wirklich Bock, gerade hier mit diesen Control Sticks, ähm, also Emulatoren und was zu spielen, sag ich mal. Leute, ich hoffe, das Video hat einigen geholfen. Ähm, ich bedanke mich fürs Zuschauen und ich hoffe, man sieht sich im nächsten Video schon wieder.